Exacerbated by climate change, the world has been experiencing an increased trend in urban disasters and protracted crises. Many of them inevitably leading to huge mega camps all around the world, where the limitations of existing emergency sanitation technologies are tragically displayed. The growing need to apply reliable technologies and ensure quality assurance as a global standard for organizations involved in emergency fecal sludge management led to the development of the Fecal Sludge Field Laboratory, which I would herewith like to nominate for the Top 40 Under 40 Awards. The development of said laboratory started back in 2015 and has since become a huge success story, showcasing how applied technology can make a tremendous contribution to public and environmental health, especially in emergencies. The success is in no small part due to our many amazing partners, all of them listed on our website, www.fecalsludgefieldlaboratory.at. A visit to our website is well advised, since everything that was developed is open source and freely available to everyone. So what exactly is the Fecal Sludge Field Laboratory? Well, it's a field laboratory that allows process and effluent quality control of fecal sludge and wastewater treatment plants. You can monitor public health and environmental parameters or control and improve treatment performances. And all of this in the field, even without access to power. The lab was designed to be highly mobile and remain affordable, but nevertheless deliver results comparable to those of a standard lab. Now the team I'd like to nominate includes my under 40 colleagues, Ibrahim Mukisa from Uganda Red Cross Society, Agaba Derek Muhumusa, currently with Swedish Red Cross, Ridwan Karim from Bangladesh Red Crescent Society, as well as Johannes Busek, Christopher Friedrich, Markus Godak, and myself, Magdalena Keplinger, from Austrian Red Cross. All of them were essential in the development as well as the training or application phase. So far, interagency lab trainings have been held in Austria, Uganda, Switzerland, and Bangladesh, and labs have been installed and are still in operation in Uganda and Bangladesh, serving host and refugee communities. One lab is operated in Haiti by Doctors Without Borders, and one was in operation by German Red Cross when flooding hit our valley in 2021. One lab has now reached Bandung, Indonesia as a training facility, and organizations outside of the Red Cross Red Crescent movement, including Veolia Foundation and Swiss Humanitarian Aid, adapted the lab to their needs and trained people for deployment. It's incredible to see your lab out there, contributing to ensure the health of people and environment. Without the lab, we are blind. But with the lab, we are able to control and improve treatment processes, contributing to a safe environment. Thank you very much.